Hello and welcome to Chart TV for the 1st of November live. My name is Malcolm Gordon and today we're going to look at more speci specifically the light crude futures oil contract. Okay, we're going to take a, a strategic view of the market uh, with a monthly chart here. You can see that uh, price of oil briefly touched 40 US dollars a barrel for the first time in the lead up in the weeks before the first Gulf War, but then quickly retreated within when people realized it would be a, a very quick and rather painless victory. And then the price, uh, the oil f fell into a bit of a trading range and it sort of went, uh, stayed in this range for a couple of years, broke into a downtrend, in, uh, made the high in Jan 97 and then broke into a downtrend. Interestingly for the Elliott fans out there, this, this, I count this out as a five wave uh, down move, one, two, three, four, five. So, and we know that at the end of the, when a fifth wave is complete, in Elliott terms, you're usually going to see a, uh, a reversal, a change in uh, direction of the market. And the market did exactly that, uh, touched the bottom Bollinger Band and took off, broke the previous high and made a higher high. Interestingly, the high here was what is high of $37, pulled back, consolidated around the $20 level, then took off again and once again touched that uh, pre-Gulf War, pre Gulf War 1 high of $40 and it touched that just before the second Gulf War. So it revisited the first Gulf War high just before the second Gulf War. And then uh, once again when, uh, when it was clear that it was going to be a rather quick and painless victory uh, in Iraq, uh, the uh, price fell back, uh, consolidated around the uh, uh, $28, $30 level then broke the previous high of $40 and it has taken off and stuck to the top stuck very closely to the top Bollinger Band it, it's, it's taken off like a rocket baby, it's, got, it's, it's gone parabolic it's gone parabolic, if you're familiar with what a par parabola looks like it's sort of a, a, a large U-shaped sort of um, uh, chart uh, that's what it, it looks like, that's the, the um, trend line we're dealing with here so uh, it's uh, been a very fast, rapid move that I'm sure has caught a lot of people by surprise and uh, created a lot of pain for a lot of uh, people in the economy, uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, businesses out there and, and uh, pretty much anyone in the economy has been, been hurt by this except the, uh, those speculating on the oil price. Okay, now let's switch to the weekly chart for a closer view. Okay, weekly chart has this market in a uptrend. I'll just draw in some trend lines here, not horizontal trend lines. Okay, from this low here we have uh, market from from this double bottom here in November, no, January 2002. Market moved back into the previous trading range, took off briefly just before the second Gulf War once again, pulled back quickly fell back into the trading range then proceeded to make a series of higher highs and higher lows it was moving into an uptrend uh, pulls back around at the $39, $40 level and takes off again interestingly this market seems to have been clinging more to the top Bollinger Band uh, indicating that this mark, uh, the, the uptrend was, was fairly, uh, fairly strong as it very rarely, uh, whenever it did come close to the lower Bollinger Band, when it did pull back, it would usually take off again. See here, it pulled back to the, close to the lower Bollinger Band, made a tail. Notice that big fat tail there, indicates sign of an imminent reversal. Takes off again, t touches the top Bollinger, pulls back, takes off again, touches the top Bollinger, and here we have it pulling back and heading towards the lower Bollinger Band. MACD is turning down, interestingly, judging by the strength of the previous moves in the MACD, uh, I'd expect to see a little more downside in this market. How much downside? We can see here that it's coming up to a support level around $60 a barrel, which is a nice round figure, easy to remember. And then the support under that is $57. let us take a closer look at this market. Okay, down to the daily chart. Market is still in an uptrend. It has broken the most previous, uh, the most recent uptrending line here, and is in a downward trending channel. Let's take a closer look at that. Let's zoom in again. 
Notice the tail at the top of this, uh, at, at the high here, the $70 mark, that indicates institutional selling at that level. And the market promptly fell soon after. Made a tail here, indicating that uh, it was about to find support. Notice that with these bars, that that this bar didn't uh, break the... Pr uh, Okay, drilling down to the week daily chart once again. We can see that this is in a sort of downwards channel at the moment, and it's in a in the short term. Oil is in a downtrend. Uh, it's sort of uh, you can see that market is sticking close to the lower Bollinger Band, even slightly piercing it here in this case. But it seems to every time it touches the lower ball, it bounces up to retest, to uh, rally and retest the top of the channel where it probably gets sold down, bounces off the uh, lower Bollinger, rallies briefly, retests the top of the channel, then is sold down. It's uh, The question to ask is, when will the short term, this short term downtrend end, so that the long term trend can prevail, can continue? When is it the time to start looking at going long? We can see here that uh, some previous uh, some, uh, resistance for this market is at around the 60 uh, $61 level here, then uh, there's a uh, previous resistance there, and these are possible levels to look at that could that could be support levels. Here's the $58, another uh, resistance, excuse me, resistance level that could act as support. We're getting close to that now. And also, uh, last but not least, around the $56 level here, which is acted as both resistance and support here in the past. So interestingly, the correction from this the April high to the May low was a reversal of roughly 19.6%, uh, whereas so far from the uh, August uh, $70 high, $71 high, to the current low is a reversal of around 16%. So we may there may be some more a little more downside to come. Uh, these two bars are quite interesting because they pretty much have equal lows. The low here is 59.27, low here is 59.3. So this market may be bottoming now, may be finding support now. Uh, what I'd look for is for the market to bottom, make a possible possible double bottom, uh, then uh, one of two things to happen. If this uptrend is long-term uptrend is over, the market will move into a trading range and uh, really won't uh, and, and could remain in that trading range for a while. However, if this uptrend is to continue, we need to see the market firstly bottom, which it may be doing now, trade up, trade to, uh, to um, break this previous high of $68, back and make a higher low. In that high low, I'd expect it to have another crack at this high here. And if it does that, the, high, the $71 high, $70.85 high, if it does that, then we could safely say that this thing is, is breaking into, is, is uh, taking off into a further uptrend. Uh, is it possible? Will we see an assault on these, these highs this year? It's hard to tell. We're going into the uh, cooler uh, northern hemisphere winter. Uh, obviously, demand for heating oil uh, increases. It places uh, uh, extra uh, demand pressures on the price. Uh, the industrialization of China uh, is set to continue well into the next year. For each, uh, at the moment, per capita consumption in China is one barrel uh, per, per consumer, whereas in the US it's 19 barrels per consumer per head. So it's, I honestly don't think that that's, uh, that's gonna, that situation is going to remain like that forever. I uh, see uh, in the long term uh, consumption in China, especially uh, such a, a fast moving, growing economy, it's going to in naturally increase. So um, yeah, basically, there you have it. That's my view for the market. Uh, look to it, look for it to make a low at around the key levels are now uh, uh, is this level here, which is uh, fifty nine dollars roughly, uh, around the fifty nine dollar level. Failing that, fifty eight dollars, and failing that, fifty six levels. So three key levels to watch. So uh, it'd be interesting to see how this plays out over the next few days. That's chart t TV for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.